Freedom is interesting. I mean, you know, uh, I guess it's interchangeable with liberty. Uh, and our, our Declaration of Independence said life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what we should do. And I don't know, freedom is uh, being able to take control of yourself, being able to express yourself uh, in a reasonable way. And um, you have, uh, you know, inherently, I think freedom is a very optimistic viewpoint, the idea that if everybody has their own way of doing things and they, they pursue those in a positive way, that you're going to have a happy outcome. And uh, that, that's an assumption about freedom that I think is uh, innate about it. I mean, we, we've had people, I've had two of my uncles that died in wars trying to defend freedom. They made the ultimate sacrifice. Freedom is important to people, liberty is important to people. My name is Neil Coonerty. I'm uh, owner of Bookshop Santa Cruz, which is where we are right now. Uh, this is my family bookstore. My daughter runs it now, but I ran it for a number of years. And uh, I've been, I've also served as mayor of Santa Cruz. I've uh, been on the county supervisor uh, in Santa Cruz and a head of American Booksellers Association. So involved in a lot of things. The town's been good to us and uh, we've uh, enjoyed uh, 50 years of bookselling here. It's a nice sized community. We're about 50,000 people. So you get to know your neighbors and you get to know what's going on. Right now we're in the middle of the election between Trump and Clinton. And that's a little anxiety ridden considering the country could take a drastic, horrible turn. But um, I doubt that he's going to be elected because of the way the electoral process goes. But, um, but he's a loose cannon and he's not very intelligent about the way government works. The people, you know, there's a number of people that have this odd feeling like amateurs should just come in and run the most powerful government that's ever existed on earth. You need people with experience, you need people to moderate their views so that they try to accommodate, the, represent the nation as a whole, and you don't get that with uh, Trump. Government it moves slowly, but I think that's probably a healthy thing, even though at times it's very frustrating, because um, you need to sort of bring along people and make sure that they are comfortable with what government is doing. There's a lot of power in government. They can put you in jail, they can take your money, they can do all sorts of things. So you have to look at them skeptically. It's good to, you, you lead, but you also follow the people. So it's a combination of juggling those two things. You have to believe in the process, believe that you, the public service is exactly that, a service. You have to work with people and help them accomplish what they want to accomplish as a group. We, that's what government really is, is us coming together as a group and doing things, whether it's building roads or protecting the environment or whatever it is that we're doing, we're doing that uh, collectively and that's part of what your representation uh, accomplishes when you go on a city council or a board of supervisors or other elect elective offices. It's, um, it's important to just keep on the ground and, and Keep in mind what you're really trying to accomplish for people and not, uh, not be arrogant and not be overbearing, but really work hard to, to see that collectively we do something good.